Welcome to our channel. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe. Planes. Flybys. Ripslinger. Ten years ago, air racing needed a new star. So Ripslinger gave it one. Now he's known all over the world as a beloved role model and racing champion. Yet sometimes he feels lost and empty as he looks for the answer to life's greatest mystery. Is there an awesome beyond awesome? Or is awesome the most awesome he will ever be? Perhaps he'll never know. Still, onward he quests. Ever in pursuit of the one thing he loves almost as much as himself. Victory! To be this good, it takes velocity, it takes tenacity, and most of all, it takes humility. Ishani. At an official Wings Around the Globe press conference, Ishani, the sleek, regal racer from India, was just finishing taking questions from the crowd gathered in the plane hangar. Ishani's handler announced, No more questions. She thanked everyone for coming, and with a final, We look forward to seeing you at the race, the two turned to go. Abruptly, a reporter from the crowd spoke up. Ishani, he called, Do you really think the race can be won by a girl? Everyone gasped and Ishani and her handler stopped in their tracks. I said no more questions, reprimanded the handler. But Ishani said sweetly, Actually, I'd like to answer that one. As she advanced to the front of the stage, all the other reporters and cars in the crowd zoomed away, leaving the one reporter on his own. Suddenly, the walls of the plane hangar fell away, revealing the colorful landscape of the Taj Mahal. Ishani launched into the air and into a song. She sang, When life shifts into the fast lane, time flies, it doesn't stop for any plane. I don't try to Beat the boys at their game. It's my sky. They'll never catch me anyway. I fly fast, fly high, fly past, fly by. Fly swift, fly true, fly bye-bye, you. Don't cry. You won't be the first one to sit by and watch as the race is won. I'm not shy as long as my engines run. It's my sky. I'll show you how this is done. I fly fast, fly high, fly past, fly by, fly swift, fly true, fly bye-bye, you. With a final flourish, the song ended. Ishani was back on the stage in front of the microphone as if nothing had happened. Calmly, she asked, Any more questions? And the reporter could only reply with a muffled, I'm good. El Chupacabra. Who is the plane who defies gravity? Making gravity back down first? Who is the plane who breaks wind? And it stays broken. Who is the plane whose mask has its own mask? Who is this plane? This super plane? He goes only by one name. The plane, the myth, the legend, El 
Chupacabra. Dusty. One morning at Chug and Dottie's fill and fly, Chug the fuel truck was filling up the tank of a distinguished military jet. There you go, Captain. Topped off with the finest jet fuel and prop wash junction, Chug said as he finished. Take care. The next plane in line for a refuel was Chug's best friend, Dusty Crop Hopper. Dusty was a crop duster, but what he wanted to be more than anything was a professional racer. Whoa, you don't see that every day, huh, Chug? Dusty said. They both admired the jet while Chug filled Dusty's tank. Dusty rolled toward the runway, and Chug suddenly realized he had given Dusty the jet fuel by mistake. He called after his friend. It's the wrong fuel, Dusty! But it was too late. Dusty fired up his engine and blasted down the runway like a rocket. Whoosh! Yarg! Dusty screamed. The propulsion lifted him off the runway and sent him straight towards a cornfield. Yow! Dusty yelled. He plowed through the cornfield, surprising a farmer who was harvesting the corn. The farmer was startled, but everything worked out fine. The plowed up corn cobs ended up shucked and stacked neatly in the wagon. Dusty shouted. He burst out of the cornfield and onto a road. Whew! At least now he could see what was in front of him. But then... Look out! Dusty shrieked. There was an old lady crossing the intersection ahead, and Dusty was headed right for her. Yeah! Dusty hollered. He managed to pull up just in time and blast it into the sky. woo Dusty whooped. Now this was more like it, speeding along, just like a jet. But then his engine began to sputter. He had burned through all his fuel. Luckily, just as his engine stopped completely, Dusty spotted the runway up ahead. He was going to make it. Dusty touched down on the runway, but his troubles weren't over yet. He was still going way too fast, and he was headed for the edge of a cliff. Dusty braked as hard as he could. His wheels locked and squealed against the blacktop, slowing him down, but he was running out of runway. A huge cloud of dust rose behind him as the drop-off got closer and closer until he finally managed to stop right at the very edge of the cliff. Chug and the other townsfolk raced up. Dusty! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you okay? Say something! Chug pleaded. Dusty's friends waited in suspense while the crop duster caught his breath. He wasn't moving from the cliff's edge. Was he hurt? Was he angry? Was he in shock? At last, Dusty managed to pant out. That was... Awesome! Thank you for watching our videos. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe. Here are some videos we thought you might like.